Yo, yo, yo. Hey, guys. So I guess this is the first time we're doing a live stream. I like live stream. Live streaming is good, especially when I get to see people's feedback. It makes you feel good, you know. So even though there's no one watching at the moment right now, today's video I'm going to be talking about um, how to build attraction easy way. You see, now the reason why I call it the easy way is because this is more of a way of how to do it without learning too many tactics. This is more how to do it without um, having to study too much material. And this is learning how to do it without changing yourself and changing the way you think and changing you see the world. This is just simple, simple implementations that will instantly create attraction in a woman, you see. And the reason why I like this is because I, I prefer to teach compound exercises, which is to say, and when you lift weights, you have isolation exercises and you have compound exercises. Isolation exercises work on one muscle. I, um, compound exercises work on groups of muscle. So in other words, the effort that you exert has more of a return when you practice these tactics, rather than just practicing, practicing one trick ponies and shit, right? It, it makes them laugh, but it doesn't really produce the results you really want. So I'm gonna show you guys how to do it right now. Okay, so let me check, the, uh, first let me check the comment section to see if there's any, anyone commenting, and I'll start right now, okay? And ask questions if you guys have any questions. Yeah, oh, thank you. Takesha, hey, wait a minute. Why is there women in this? This is a, this is a guy's channel. <laughs> you guys are not supposed to be here. <laughs> Go to the other channel. Okay, this is how it's done, okay. So, the first thing, the simplest way to build attraction to me is silence. Now, I know I always talk about this, you see, but it's important. Now, mind you, for those who don't know, I'm actually in New York City right now. I moved back to New York City and I'm actually looking for someone, like an intern, who's willing to record me, do, um, record me, record my approaches when, and they also get to get coached by me. So I approach and you also get to learn from me. So it's a win win. So if you're in New York City and you want to do that, let me know. Um, I'm, I'm gaining pretty much every single fucking day. So that's all you need to do is just let me know. And it's the first one, all right? So, okay, so this is how it's done. So yesterday I went and approached the girl, right? And another thing, I'm, I'm actually uploading another video right now. So while I'm talking, there's a video being uploaded. Okay, killing two birds in one stone, right? Um, so I approached the girl yesterday and I was very nervous, right? I was very nervous. And because I haven't, I haven't really like done cold approach in a few months because I was in the middle of nowhere, right? So I got to get myself acclimated to it. So when I approached her, she looked like she was mean. She looked like she didn't like me. And, um, and my mind was racing. You know when a girl doesn't like you, you suddenly, your mind says, oh, she doesn't like me. So you come up with new strategies like, oh, she doesn't like me, so let me do this and let me do that, right? That tends to happen. So one of the things that I learned is that anytime you notice yourself, you're about to say something to impress her, or that's cool, stop. For example, she was talking, right? She was like, um, so um, uh, where are you from? Oh, I'm from New York City. Oh, my goodness, that, that, that's cool. Um, um, and that, you, 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 that's how kind of odd that you're approaching me. Now, what would I say? I would try to justify, oh, yeah, um, uh, I just thought you were cute. Nope, this is what I did. Oh, I just thought well, that's kind of odd that you're approaching me. <laughs> so what are you doing in New York City? Like, like that. Boom, it's that immediately, like that made her like, like it, how can I say this? When you feel like you need a comeback, sometimes the best comeback is no comeback. Put a smile on and change the topic. Literally just change the topic, like you're talking to a kid. Like she says, why are you so, why are you so short? And you just look at her like, so what, what school you went to? What, do you, what, what did you study? You just change the topic, like saying, you just, you're so silly. Anyways, you change the topic. It, it's crazy. And, and so I did that throughout the whole interaction. I wish I would have recorded it. And it was so crazy how people react to that, you know, because they're not comfortable with silence. Most people are not comfortable with silence. So what tends to happen is that when you are the source of discomfort, intentional discomfort, because you're doing it at their expense, you see, you become your, their only source of release the only source of, of, um, of, of releasing social tension because you were the one that made it tense because you were just doing it intentionally. You see what I'm saying? So if you intentionally make her feel uncomfortable with a playful vibe, you see, and that's done through being present, 
and having empathy, you're, you'll be able to be do, you'll be able to fuck with them and get them attracted instantly. Like it's pretty crazy how much this works. It's 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 phenomenal. Another one for to build attraction is this, and this is more of a habit and more of a um, uh, way of thinking. And I'm gonna show you guys what I'm talking about because I read about this in the business book. Yes. Here, look. I took a screenshot of the yes of this yesterday. Right. This is what it says. Actually, I sent it to someone. The simplest way to be more attractive is this, right? It's, it's crazy how simple this is. It's so crazy how simple this is. Okay, here it is. Um, I'm trying to find it on my WhatsApp. Here it is. Okay. It says, it's, it says I'm uh, selling shoes. Okay, look, listen, listen to this. Listen. Selling shoes over the internet is tough business. Customers, customers can't, try, can't try them on. And no one wants to be stuck with shoes they don't like and they will never wear. Okay, now listen to this. To compensate, Zappos applies classic risk reversal to every to every order. They offer free shipping and free and free, no questions asked um, um, in your orders. Now, this is the thing: is that they provide free shipping, right? But they don't say they provide free shipping. No, no, they provide next day shipping, but they don't say they provide next day shipping. They think they're getting a good offer, and it is a good offer. But if they really want to, they can say it's next day shipping. But because they don't say it, and they leave it as a surprise, it makes it even better. It makes the satisfaction even better because it's a pleasant surprise. Now, if you are a company, and you are totally, okay, BK, message me, okay, message me. If you are a company and you are afraid of losing customers, which is in your case, not being outcome dependent, being afraid of being rejected, you wouldn't be, you would try to, you would try to advertise that you offer next day shipping because you are afraid that you're going to lose customers. Only a company who knows that they're kicking, they can get a client are able to pull this off without being scared. You see, because they know they can attract people. That's an indication of your self-esteem. So how does it apply to this? Is that if you want to become more attractive, all you have to do is find out the best parts about you and don't, re and don't reveal them in the beginning. For example, I have a YouTube channel, right? I have a YouTube channel. And when I approached yesterday, I felt the temptation to tell women that I have a YouTube channel with like 19,000 subscribers on the other one. And it was only when I felt like she didn't like me. Isn't that crazy, right? So what I did then is I said, I just, didn't do nothing. I let that in there because what tends to happen is that you tend to use it as a crutch. And so you never really get to really learn because you have a crutch. So what you have to do is handicap yourself in a way and put yourself in those difficult situations by not seeing the good things about you. Now, what tends to happen is that it tends to have a very odd effect that by not seeing the good things about you that you thought would create attraction, right? It actually creates attraction because once they find out they're kind of like, damn, this guy didn't tell me. That's a pretty cool thing. You see, in addition to that, what tends to happen is that you can feel when someone has a lot, when someone's important, you can sense it. You can sense it. You can sense it. With, I'm not saying I'm important, but I'm saying you can sense when someone has high self-esteem. You can sense it. It's better to let her find, to let her guess the source rather than to know the source because she knows that you're famous or whatever. You see what I'm saying? Let her ask herself, why is he like this? Why is he so comfortable? You see? And so if you're a photographer, don't say you're a photographer. Like, hide the fact that you're a photographer. Even if she talks about photography, don't say you do photography. Why? Because by hiding the fact that you do photography, what tends to happen is that people will say, if they, if they discover on their own, it's going to be a pleasant surprise. It's going to have more of an effect if you would have told it directly. It's a simple way to create attraction. In addition, it's also a simple way to, to, um, to eliminate a lot of the reasons why they lose attraction because you talk too much about yourself. You talk too much about the good things that communicate to neediness. It's a crazy thing. It's a very simple, it's a very simple thing. Um, how would you approach girls in the club, in, when the club, in the club where is loud music? I'll be honest with you, Michael. Um, I'm not a big fan of night games, to be perfectly honest with you. I'm not a big fan of it. That's just me. Um, it, it's just too, I, I like my mornings, I, and I hate being up late, I'll be honest with you, but I do, I did night game, right? And the best way to do it, you know what? I gotta send you to someone else, because I'm not doing it. 
<laughs> I know my limitations, dude. I know my limitations. My good thing is day game and natural stuff. But like loud clubs, I can't do that because it just hurts my ears, man. That's just me. Um, if you want to find out someone's good at it, Valentino Cohen is amazing at that. Valentino Cohen. I'm actually going to go to him when I start doing night game. That's the person I'm going to learn from, Valentino Cohen. He's amazing at night game. Um, so, yeah, I, I wouldn't, I, I, I wouldn't, like, I just haven't done it in a few months. Like, I don't want to give you that advice without me being certain about it. You know what I'm saying? So, I'm, I'm going to have to say no to you, Michael, right? Ask another question about the game. I got you. Um, but let me see. So, yeah, that's pretty much it. If you guys have a question, let me know. And, or else I'm going to shut this down. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to shut this down. And, um, and I'm going to be, again, I'm going to be posting more, more videos now, you know, because, I'm gaming more often right now. So there's going to be a lot of insights I'm going to be having that I feel is going to be useful to post them here, right? And yeah, man, like, it's, it's crazy how taking time off of game and coming back to game really does, really is kind of like, for text game, okay, should you hit only her, should you hit her up only when you want to hang out? Like, under what context? Like, Oh, okay, so we asked you recently, like initially. Okay, how do you, okay, so, first of all, good text game can never fix bad game. You see, so if you, if you left a bad impression, it doesn't matter how cool you came across by when you texted, it'll be, it'll be perceived bad. For example, if, if, you're, if you are a guy that, that gave the impression of a creep, right, and you get a hey, She's gonna see that hey, like, hey girl, like a creepy hey, right? But if you're a guy and you gave her the impression that you're that you're attractive, that hey is gonna be, hey girl, how you doing? Like, oh, but I guess both are creeps. But the whole point is that it doesn't matter what you say. If she perceives it under the impression that you left her, it's not gonna do anything. So what you have to do is, mind you, my mentality is simple. You wanna text her how you text your buddies, how you text your friends. Notice how you text your friends and notice how you, how you text girls and try to make it seem and try to, and, and try to, and try to text oh, and try to text as simple as possible, close to how you text your friends. Okay. And you're going to notice there's going to be a lot less LOLs, a lot less Imani cons, just, it's going to be a lot simpler. So oh, yeah, if you want to ask her out, you, I'm telling you, man, like when a girl likes you, she's always free. You see? So all you got to do is just ask her this, by the way, um, are you busy? Are you always busy? Just text her, are you always busy? Are you always busy? Like, oh, if she says, yes, I'm always busy, okay, then she doesn't want you, you know? Because when she doesn't want you, she's always busy. But if she likes you, she's gonna say, yes, but. Yes, but. That but is a time frame she's gonna give you. Or she's gonna say, no, I'm not busy always. So then you can plug in the time to meet her, you see? And so that's a good way to ask her out while knowing whether or not she likes you, you see? But if you don't wanna go that route, all you gotta do is just all you gotta do is just ask her, hey, what's your schedule this week? Let's hang out. Like it's that simple. Like don't make it complicated. If you try to make it complicated, you're doing it out of insecurity. You see what I'm saying? So that's why I would say check your emotions. Is it because of insecurity or because of fun? If it's insecurity, don't send it. Relax, breathe, notice the emotion, and then act. If it's out of fun, do it. Like just notice your intentions. That's all you gotta do. How to um <laughs> hungry ladies? What's the best way to deal with hungry ladies? I don't know, feed them? <laughs> I don't know, dude. You gotta, you, you know, you gotta, you know, you gotta buy food for them. <laughs> um, how to stop being obsessed with a girl? Well, a lot of the times obsession comes because of scarcity, when you believe that there's no one else like her, you see? And a lot of the times it's not because she really is special, but because it's more of a reflection of your self-esteem. It's more of your longing to accept yourself. You see, because a lot, a lot of, see, that's what tends to happen, dude. That's what tends to happen. It's, it's, more, it's more of a reflection of low self-esteem. Now, if it ha now, mind you, if it happens often, if it happens often, that's a reflection of low self-esteem. If it happens often. And, and they don't reciprocate. But if it's just once in a while, it happens to everyone. Like we all get obsessed with a girl. So what you have to do in that case then is meet other women, like literally meet other women or start meditating and feeling the emotion, like literally feel the emotion and just observe it. 
right? And notice it's a conference, notice where the emotion is, and just feel it. The more you feel it, the more you're gonna become desensitized to it. It's kind of like a drug. When you take a drug, the more you take the drug, the less effect it's gonna have. So the more you observe the emotion, the less effect it's gonna have on you, you see? But in the beginning, it's gonna be hard. So that's why you gotta keep observing it and accepting it. Um, damn, Deezy, you're going in town with these questions. How do you be attract someone who lost interest? Um, you first want to, the way to regain interest is to create space, you see? So the first thing you wanna do is make sure you don't talk to them for, make sure they don't see or talk to you for a few months, two or three or four months, depending on the creep level you have, right? So let's just assume it was a normal breakup. Let's say that you guys once liked each other, right? And she broke up with you, whatever. Actually, no, if it was the case, you would have asked how do you get your ex back. So let's just say it was just a girl that you just casually seen. Then all you have to do is just don't text her first. Okay, don't text her, right? Make her, make her, how can I say this? Make her forget the impressions she had of you. You see, and that's what space and time does. Just take a step back, right? And then all you have to do is just text her like after, after like two or three months. Like it's that simple, right? But it's much better that if you want to regain interest, you want to be on her social media, all right? But you don't want to message her. Don't message her anything. Even if she does message you out of politeness, don't respond to her. No, 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 don't respond to her. Um, in addition to that, if she's on your social media, start posting pictures of or videos of girls you find attractive that look the total opposite of how she looks. For example, if she if she is a, a white girl, right, start posting a video about how you love girls who look like Rihanna, right? <laughs> or how you love girls who look like I don't know, like fucking um, Beyonce, whatnot, right? What tends to happen is that women compare themselves a lot, right? And by posting photos of like, damn, these are, I love these types of girls. It tends to make her insecure, like saying, what? I thought I was this type, you see? And if you add that with ignoring her messages, right? It'll, it may create some attraction, but it doesn't work always, but it works once in a while. Um, yeah. Yeah, I do. I do one-on-one -on -one coaching. Yeah, Takesha. Yeah, I do one-on-one -on -one coaching for men. I do like one-on-one -on -one in terms of like approaching women, but I do for women's as well. Um, let me see. Girl wants me, but has a boyfriend. Thoughts? Should I ignore to gain more attraction? Yes. Tell her, you know what, you should be with your boyfriend. Tell her, you know what, you should be with him. He's a good guy. Encourage her. Encourage her to do what her emotions don't want to do. You see, don't be the one that, don't be the one that is her logic. No, be her logic, right? And tell her, don't go back with your boyfriend. You can't be hanging out with me. I don't think we should see each other and break up with her, right? Not break up with her, but just say, look, we'll give you friends, but I don't think we should do anything, right? Because what's gonna happen, you're setting the barrier. You're setting a barrier. You're the one that's setting the barrier, right? Um, but you wanna feel as though, you know, it's like, ah. Oh, like, you're so cute, but I can't do nothing. Like, I don't want to ruin that relationship. You guys should just be together, right? But just be around, keep messaging her, right? But have that restriction, right? But, but if she initially told you that she has a boyfriend, though, if she initially told you that she has a boyfriend, like, during the beginning of the conversation, I wouldn't put too much attention to that. I wouldn't. Put more attention to her responses. Does she respond to you? Does she hang out with you? Does she spend time with you? You see, even if she does doing, and if she is doing that, then she's doing. She's not doing the right thing. That's not a good girlfriend, right? And she knows that. You see, and if she's doing that, all you have to do is say, you know what? I don't think we should do this. I don't think we should do this, and, and say, I don't think we should hang out, right? And that's that. It's gonna hurt her ego. Trust, look, trust me, man. Trust me, right? It's gonna hurt her ego, like. Most guys don't do stuff like that. And that's something that I would recommend doing. Um, love your content. Yeah. <laughs> Bruce Lee game, everyone tells me that. Um, yeah, that's it, yo. I'm gonna, be, I'm gonna be posting a video right now. Yo, um, BK, message me. Um, because you said you're in New York City. Oh, what's the difference between pickup and seduction? Um, for me, pickup is more of the cold approach. When you're meeting a woman in that day, and you're attracting her. Seduction is more of the process, like the, the, the long-term game, you see? Like the games you play, the teasing, 
Do you know what I'm saying? Like it's 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 more of the the the, the middle part of the game. That's that's what seduction is. It's the middle part. Um, BK, just message me again. Let me know. Cause I just oh, you, if you hit me up right now, I'll look at it right now. But I, I didn't I didn't hear any messages right now. Um, do you do you have do you some subtle questions you could ask girls to know if they're vulnerable, fear, insecurities? Um, notice what she gets angry about. Okay, so ask her what what let me ask you is what angers you, what angers you, right? If if men anger her, like, I don't know, let's just, let's say that, let's say she hates people who are cheaters, right? Let's say that she hates men who are cheaters. If she has an emotion on that, that means there's, there's an insecurity, you see, especially with other women, especially with comparing her to other women, you see, especially with men who have a lot of friends. You see, so by asking her what she's angry about, find out the source and, and you can find out, you know, what, what that is. Um, another one is finding out how was, how was a childhood as well. You know, if she was neglected, that means you got to let her talk. You see, if she was the only child, right, that means you also got to listen to her a lot. See, I don't know about it. To be honest with you, I, there's actually The Art of Seduction by Robert Greene talks about that, talks about regression and finding out people's weaknesses. I have to review that. I have to review that. But that's one thing that you should do. And mind you, like right now, I'm rusty. As you guys can tell, I'm rusty. I'm forgetting a lot of material right now. So the more longer I do this and get reacclimated with, you know, with, with, with the women part, with how to seduce women, I'll get better at this. But let me leave it at this because the video is uploaded. There's going to be a video up in like two seconds. So be watching for it. And if you guys are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaching, message me, why am I doing this? <laughs> like, <laughs> if you guys are interested in one-on-one -on -one coaches, message me at mindfulattraction.org and have a good day. Bye-bye.